contribution. If we talk about max prime theory, now, now we have our theories and uh, theories. Uh, first of all, we have our max prime, which states that the energy of light is proportional to the frequency and the constant that relates them is known as Planck's constant. Uh, his work led to Albert Einstein determining that light exists in discrete quarta of energy of protons. Max Planck discovered this theory. In 1900, he was a German theoretical physicist who discovered the quantum of action now known as Planck's constant. The work laid the foundation for quantum theory which won the Nobel Prize for Physics in 1918. The value of Planck's constant is defined as 6162075 rent base per minus 34 joule. If you talk about Bohr's Bohr, the first Bohr model presented by the Neil Bohr in 1913, and its system <clears throat> consisting of a small dense nucleus surrounded by orbiting electrons, similar to the structure of the solar system, but with attraction provided by electrostatic forces in place of gravity. Explanation: The Bohr model shows that the electron in atom are in orbits of different having the element around the, the nucleus before you used to the term energy never saw uh, to describe these orbits of diff differing energy the energy level an electron normally occupies is called its uh, ground state principle of Bohr's model electron occupy only certain or orbitals around the nucleus those orbits are stable and are called stationary orbitals each orbit has an energy associated with it May, uh, if you talk about the main flaws in Bohr atomic models each uh, early planetary models of the atom suffered from a theory who uh, a theory that had the electron spinning in orbit around the nucleus a charged particle in an electric field there was no accounting for the field or for the fact that the electron would spin into the nucleus advantages of Bohr model. It explained the stability of an atom according to Bohr and electron revolving in a particular nature of matter. Uh, atom that have proton, neutron, electron and nucleus consist matter. It generally exists in four states that is liquid, solid, gas, gaseous and plasma state. Chemical properties of matter are classified on the basis of mixture and pure substances. If we talk about quantum number, quantum number describes the value of observed quantities in the dynamics of a quantum system. In the case of electron, the quantum number can be defined has a set of numerical values which give acceptable solution to the wave equation for the hydrogen atoms of of bow principle the of principle from the german of uh, also called the of rule states that the ground state of the atom or an ion electron field atomic orbitals of the lowest available energy level before occupying higher level who proposed this neighborhood Proposed this, proposed this in 1920. Here is a uh, short uh, explanation of it. Silent features of half electron first occupy. No, it's basically a configuration system. It, it's uh, by mistake. I was uh, I wrote here. Uh, so sorry for that. Electron occupy the orbitals is uh, energy is lowest. This implies that the electron enters orbital having higher energies. Hund's law, uh, every orbital is a self-shell in singly occupied before any orbital is doubly occupied. All of the electrons in singly occupied orbitals have the same spin. And uh, next we have a uh, uh, importance the, it, it is important because we need you need to know that the grand the ground state of an element to that uh, the further determine the orbital electron configuration of a Pauli exclusion principle the Pauli principle is a quantum mechanical principle which states that the two are more radical uh, feminine cannot occupy the same quantum state within a quantum system simultaneously Planck's constant uh, transfer of the energy is uh, continuized and can only occur in discrete units.
energy and mass according to Einstein theory of relativity E is equal to mc square where E is equal to energy and m is equal to mass and c is equal to speed of light or the rearrangement of the grain m is equal to E over c square there is a equation of it. It was Einstein who realized that the light would not be explained completely as waves but had to have particle properties. This is called the nature of light. Shape of orbitals. We have s orbitals and p orbitals. p are dumbbell shaped and s are the sphericals. So here is a diagram of it. We have a shape of f orbitals and we have a shape of d orbitals. Now we have a diamagnetic and paramagnetic. Diamagnetic materials are repelled by magnetic field and paramagnetic are uh, formed by magnetism whereby some materials are weakly affected by an externally applied magnetic pole. Now we talk about valence electron. Uh, they are at outer shell electron and they are associated with the, the atom and that can participate in the formation of a chemical bond. If the Outer shell is not closed in a single covalent bond. Both atoms in the uh, bond contribute one valence electron in order to form a shared pair. Atomic theory is a scientific theory of the nature of matter, which states that matter is composed of discrete units called atom. The word atom comes from the ancient Greek adjective atom, meaning individual. Polar covalent bonds. Polar covalent bonds are a type of chemical bonding. Uh, where a pair of electron is where a pair of electron uh, are not equally shared because uh, one atom spend more time with the, the electrons than the other atom dipole movements and intermolecular forces the bond dipole movement uses the idea of electric dipole movement to measure the polarity and intermolecular forces are forces which mediate interaction between molecules including the collision which act between molecules and other types of neighboring particles like atoms are ions. We have a whisper theory, valence shell electrons pair repulsion theory, a whisper theory is uh, geometry is a predict uh, is uh, is to predict the geometry uh, of individual molecules from the number of electron pairs surrounding their central atom. It is also named the uh, Gillespie in next long theory of the, its two main developers, Ronald and Ronald uh, Nahilam. Principle of whisper. The basic principle of whisper theory is that molecule. Uh, geometry can be productive based on the uh, notion that there, that electron pairs in molecules tend to repel each other and achieve a maximum separation from each other and achieve a maximum separation from each other. Shape of a whisper, one of the lone pair I call ideal shape. Sorry. Linear, trigonal, tenor, and tetrahedral, trigonal, pyramid, and octahedral. Here's the shape of it. It's a uh, the first one is linear, second one is bent, trigonal, and trigonal planar. Next we have a VBT. VBT is one of the two basic theories along with molecular orbital theory, which uh, derives the uh, use the matter of quantum mechanism to explain chemical bonding. Who proposed VBT? VBT is large part by the American. Uh, scientists Linus Pauling and John C. Slater bonding is accounted for in terms of hybridization of orbitals and the main points of VBT are to describe the covalent bonding and uh, uh, the theory assumes that electrons occupy atomic orbitals of individual atoms within a molecule and that the electrons of one atom are attracted uh, to the nucleus of another atom. Limitations of VBT are it fails to explain the tetrahedral valency of carbon. This theory uh, does not discuss the electron and energy. The assumptions are about the electrons being localized to specific location. VBT to H2. There is a structure of all molecules. Uh, now we have an MOT and uh, equivalent theory. Then valence theory is MOT. 
Its features are uh, the molecules orbitals are formed by mixing of the atomic orbitals of some energy level and symmetry of the formation of molecules. Uh, orbitals lose their identity. Uh, it was developed after the uh, VBT. After the development of VBT, MET was developed. It is proposed by the it is proposed uh, by the effort of British Hood Robert Mulliken John C. Slatter. Originally, it is called as Hund's Mulliken theory. And here is your structure. First, uh, on the right uh, left side, we have atomic orbital 1s. On the left side, right side, we have also atomic orbital and the downward we have molecular orbitals. Uh, orbital energy level we have orbital energy of electrons level starting from the least to the greatest is as follow 1s 2s uh, as I discussed before on uh, the previous page uh, about the configuration history of the periodic table constructed to represent the patterns John Nalen and Jason uh, uh, Lothar Mayer Dimitri Mendeley both independently developed the what is the model periodic table Group B elements, if we talk about group B elements of periodic table, we have a metals that refer to the trans transient metals. They are located in the middle of the periodic table. And group A elements are arranged by the activity in the periodic table. Uh, the elements in the uh, in, in group 1A are called the alkali metals, the elements in the group 2A are called alkaline earth metals, the elements in group 4A are called the uh, halogens and the elements is in group A in 2A, 6, 7A are called noble gases and they are the inert gases. If we talk about transition elements, so we have a 38 elements in group, which are and the transition elements are 38 elements in group 3 through 12, the periodic metals, so the periodic table are called transition metal. As with all metals, the transition elements are both ductile and malleable and they conduct electricity and heat and if you talk about transition metals uh, then we have chlory uh, sorry nickel manganese zinc iron copper chromium and if we talk about lanthanides the lanthanides are a group of 15 chemical elements with atomic number 57 through uh, uh, through the uh, atomic number 57 and uh, all of these elements have one valence electron in the 5D shell um, and if we talk about uh, uh, actinides actinide series are contain elements with atomic number 89 to 103 and is the third group in the periodic table the series is a row below the actinide series which is located under earth's the main body of the periodic table lanthanides and actinide series are both referred to as rare earth metals metals are uh, metals are the metal metallic uh, sorry, metals are the materials that are good conductor of heat and electricity and they are malleable and ductile and the general denser than the other elemental substances metals are used in transportation, cars, buses, trucks, trains, etc, etc. For example, gold, silver, iron, copper, nickel and money, and titanium. Non-metals are chemical elements that mostly lack the characteristics of a metal physically and they are a poor thermal electrical conductor. Metalloids are semi-metals. They are also known as semi-metals. These metals are containing a property similar and midway uh, between metals and uh, non-metals. Uh, they are found to, to divide. Uh, they are found to divide between the periodic table and the metals on the left and the non-metals on the right. Metalloids often have the following properties that could be dull or shiny. If we talk about periodic trend, periodic trend are specific patterns in the 
properties of chemical element that are revealed in the periodic table of element major periodic trends include electronegativity ionization energy and chemical reactivity and if we talk about bonding trend bonding trend is a periodic trend effect, uh, effect bonding because of how the elements are arranged on the periodic table for example elements can be arranged by the their electric electronegativity Hybrid ki baat kare, hybrid is a type of hybridization and it is the concept of mixing atomic orbitals into new hybrid orbitals and is suitable for the pairing of electron and oxides are chemical compounds that are uh, uh, chemical compounds that are at least one oxygen that have at least one oxygen atom and one other elements in its chemical formula oxide itself is the dianion of oxygen at O2 atom. Properties of predictable group, the vertical columns of the predictable are called group of family, uh, families because of similar chemical behavior. All the members of a family of elements have the same number of valence electrons uh, and similar chemical properties. And the horizontal uh, uh, rows on the uh, periodic table are called periods.